All right, and I am going to share my screen. Whoop, looks like I started midway. So let me go all the way back to here. So welcome, you guys. Thanks so much for coming on. And tonight we are going to talk all about these beautiful Prife International Itera Care. I just call them wands. Some people call them a health blower, um, but it's all the same. So as we start, of course, we have to do our disclaimer. And I don't, I have not done a disclaimer up till now, but it's really, really important because I want people to know it's a certified household electrical equipment. We call it a physiotherapy device. It is completely 100% safe to use. It emits no harmful radiation. Um, has labels allowing for its distribution internationally, which is also really important. So again, it's not medical equipment, okay? The manufacturer is not giving medical advice. I can't give medical advice. Nobody is supposed to give medical advice with this because it's not a medical device and it is not healing anybody. It's simply giving your body these frequencies to allow the body to heal itself. That's just really, really important. Again, not intended to be relied upon in lieu of medical equipment and blah, blah, blah. We all know all of that good stuff, right? So there it is right up front with the disclaimer. All right. So what are we talking about with this beautiful little blower? <clears throat> what is terahertz to begin with? Well, terahertz is a frequency. And interestingly enough, way back in 2004, so that's quite a few years now, our government named terahertz technology as one of the top 10 technologies that's going to change the future world. I mean, think about what a huge statement that is. And what is it exactly? Well, it's simply a frequency, and it's in a wave between microwave and infrared. It's non-conducting. It can pass through non-conducting materials. So it can actually go right through your clothing. So no, you don't have to take your clothes off when you're blowing. Um, it can go through paper, plastic, glass. Why don't we blow through plastic? Because you'll always hear that we say when you're going to blow for your water, you want to do it through glass, mainly because as you blow through the plastic, some of that plastic material can, with that, actually get into the water. It creates information. So you really don't want plastic pieces going in through there. It is completely 100% safe. It is non-ionizing. And it's been used widely already. Medically, you'll see if you ever go in, you can do a PubMed search on, um, I, on um, terahertz frequency. You'll see it's being used for cancer and just all kinds of healing things. So it's not new. This is science. And I do like to always say that because when we talk frequency, especially now, I think people still have that, oh, this is some kind of woo-woo. No, it is not. It is science. And this is so cool because now we have these devices that we can use to help take care of ourselves. All right. Yes, it's being used in medicine and, you know, even just like in um, radiation and, you know, um, all kinds of x-rays and all those types of things. But this is something that we have that we can use for ourselves, okay? The American scientists, when they're doing it, they've been calling it the wave of life. Japanese scientists call it the light of life. I like what the Chinese scientists say. They call it God's wave band. I mean, that's pretty darn powerful. And why? It's because that terahertz frequency is the exact same resonance as our healthy cells. In other words, it's native to our bodies, okay? When we blow that terahertz frequency into the body, it resonates with our healthy cells. So it activates the healthy cells, and we're going to talk more about this, and the dormant cells. And anything that's not that same resonance, it will actually speed up the vibration until it finally liquefies and goes away, which is the part of that whole detoxification process that you might have heard about. Yes, it absolutely does that. Kind of like you guys, do you remember you can have like that glass goblet and people would be like singing that huge or somebody would sing that really high note and all of a sudden the glass would explode. That's what we're talking about. It's very similar to that. It's that frequency that speeds up because it's not the same frequency until it explodes and goes away. 
So that's the terahertz frequency. But you know what? That's just the first part of the three in one core technology in all three of our devices. The second is what we call quantum or scalar energy. It's another frequency. And it also is one that goes out, not just directly in the way that the terahertz does. It actually comes out and around and also helps to energize the cells. It balances the body systems, strengthening the body to produce healing energy and allows it to penetrate deep into our vital organs. So that's the second kind of energy that we have. And the third core technology is optical quartz. So there is quartz crystals in all of these devices. That's what amplifies the frequency generated. It's made of hundreds of exclusive mineral ingredients. And when that temperature comes up, it just allows it to go directly into our body, amplifying it and allowing it to penetrate deep into the body. It actually mimics 1 40th of the sunlight's energy and it strengthens our auric field in the body, which is a field that goes out and around our bodies, strengthening and really holding us in and improving our immune system. So that's the three in one technology. It's true for all of our different, our different wands. Terahertz and quantum. So these that we just talked about, it's a powerful combination of healing energies. So once again, what happens is the terahertz wave vibrates the same frequency. Again, it passes through healthy cells at a constant temperature and anything unhealthy will vibrate faster and disintegrate. I love this particular slide. I wanted to include it tonight. So when you look at this, what it's showing is that normal cells have a, are about two, 20 to 25 metabolts. That's a normal cell. But what happens to our normal cells? Well, I know most of us eat really, really well all the time or not. None of us are ever any under stress, right? Oh my gosh, the amount of stress that our bodies have been under, especially over the last couple of years, radiation, emotional stress, acidity, toxicity, all these types of things start to really decrease our cells' vibrations, even just healthy cells. At 15 millivolts, that's when inflammation starts. And you know, chronic conditions are all about inflammation. And it's one of the reasons that the wand is so helpful because it really helps the body reduce inflammation. All right, now you get, there it is, the inflammation starting. We continue with stress, more acidity, more toxicity, and those cells end up to be a bad cell or an abnormal state at about 10 to 5 millivolts. Now you give it the terahertz and the scalar energy by blowing into it and it optimizes and charges the healthy cells back up. So it's really like a battery charger to all of our healthy cells. I thought that was a really nice slide to explain that. So again, what else is it doing? When we are putting those, um, the terahertz and the, and the quantum energy into it, we already know that it's gonna eliminate those unhealthy cells. Why? Because it vibrates, liquefies and goes out. So bad cells are gonna be absorbed and eliminated. It's also gonna activate inert cells. So we also have cells that are just inert. They really need some energy to get them back up and, and um, charging increases the body's self-healing ability. These frequencies even strengthen our DNA and our organic materials and molecules that are resonating within our cells, enhancing self-repair. And I don't know if you realize this, but even our DNA is constantly um, going away and then regenerating. So we regenerate the DNA. And as the DNA starts to not be, you know, we have different problems within the DNA, which is at over time can start to create a lot of problems in the body. This is really helping strengthen the DNA and the DNA molecules. It also clears meridians and lymph points. And this is a huge thing. So when we start to do that, it starts to unblock the meridians. 
So the technology was really designed around both traditional Chinese medicine, who talks a lot about acupuncture points and meridians, and cytotechnology, which is more Western. And the Western cytotechnology, meaning more cell technology, we talk a lot more about the fascia. But it's really saying the same thing, the fascia, the lymphatic system. So you're opening the blockages in the meridians. You're stimulating the acupuncture points. You're purifying our blood, increasing metabolism. It's doing all of these things just by blowing right into the body. What else is it doing? Let's talk about regulating glands. So it actually also helps to regulate the endocrine glands, protects the organs, and those endocrine glands are sending out hormones in the body. So it's normalizing the bodily systems of the body. It's not curing anything, but it's helping to normalize. It improves microcirculation because those frequencies dilate the blood vessels, number one. They reduce blood flow resistance in viscosity. And what that means is, you know, over time, our blood sometimes can get kind of thick, especially with stress and toxicity. And then it just doesn't go through all of our blood vessels, et cetera, really well. That's why a lot of people will go on more of the types of blood thinners, et cetera. Well, this will do that automatically. It really allows a much greater blood flow through all of our blood vessels and arteries. So that's a really important part of the therapy that we get with this. Removes body humidity. So it's clearing unhealthy body moisture and fats, balances the body's immune system. If you happen to have a lot of edema, swelling, um, excess, like even sometimes bloating in the belly, all that gets taken away with this. It removes all of that. And then I saved one of the most important parts for the end, which is activating our dormant stem cells in the bone marrow. Let's talk about that. So Hippocrates said way back when, if there was a way to heat the bones, then all diseases can be treated. How did he know that? I don't know, but somehow he just knew that. He knew that when you would heat the bones, the bones, that's where our latent stem cells are held. You heat it, it allows those stem cells to come out and then go to wherever stem cells are needed in the body to help regenerate different organs and whatever is needed there. And of course, old Albert said, the future medicine will be the medicine of frequencies. So here's that combination. You can heat the bones with terahertz frequency. And when you do that, you're able to release stem cells. Isn't that beautiful? So we have this great picture that just shows that when you're doing it, even all the way down in the spine, the spine attaches to or is equated Chinese medicine with all the different organs and vessels, etc., in the body. So again, as you blow up and down the spine, and really any of the other bones, but we're just showing this specific thing, it's going to activate those stem cells. Heat the bones, release the stem cells. So beautiful. And you know, stem cell therapy now is really expensive. And what do they do? They'll take stem cells and actually inject them. They'll inject them in the knees to hopefully help the knee regenerate ligaments and tendons will regenerate in the hip bones. And um, last Thursday, we did a great um, Zoom call with Dr. Kim Caporale. And she was talking about, you know, even with stem cells, like that doesn't just like heal in a day. You don't get stem cell therapy and the next day go, wow, I feel great. It takes time for the body to absorb those and actually start using those stem cells, et cetera. So this way we don't even have to go through that. We can use this to stimulate our body's own stem cells. So this is just an absolute revolutionary device. And I just want you all to know that it has passed strict tests. It is patented. We have tests and all we have actually 59 pages of all of the different um, safety and efficacy 
electronic conformity, human clinical reports. As a matter of fact, there are 62 clinical tests uh, reported and they've been issued by the Beijing Institute Research Institute of Chemical Technology. So we know that this particular device and this one only is the one that holds the patent and all of the certifications. This is the original and the one that we know for sure works. It does exactly what it says it's going to do. And the last thing that I want to really share about it is it's also user friendly. And that is just so important. If so many of these frequent machines, and I know because I have a number one, they can be very expensive, but number two, they are, takes a long time to really know and learn how to use them. This is something basically you turn it on and blow. Now, Yes, there are some ways that we show you to start doing it, some protocols, and I'm going to show you that in a moment, but just know it almost really doesn't matter. We like to say, just turn it on and blow. The body is so brilliant. The body's going to know how to absorb those frequencies and then use the frequencies to help us feel better. So you don't have to really worry. You're not going to get hurt with it. The only thing that might happen if you do a little too much too fast, you could have a bit of a detox, but then all you do is just drinking the water and relax back a little bit, allow the body to detoxification um, systems to, to work and, and you'll feel better quickly. So this is just showing how easy it is, right? You can see this person's just blowing right there on her face. Somebody else is doing it on a foot. This lady is doing it on her front laying back and down. One of the, sometimes people will ask me, Renee, how do you get to your back? If you wanna do up and down the spine, well, I want you to think about this. This frequency will go in, penetrate deep into the body up to 30 centimeters. And you're talking about bones. So if you want, this is how I do it on myself, I'll lay down and I'll just go up and down my spine this way. And I just shut my eyes and I feel it all the way in the back of my spine. So you don't have to have any kind of contraptions. I've seen some people try to get a holder and go up and down on it. So I'm like, that's fine if you want, it's good. You get some squatting in and you can do a little bit of exercise, or you can lay on your back and just go up and down like that. It all works beautifully. You can use these on babies. Again, 100% safe. Colicky babies, um, ear aches, etc. It's beautiful for children, beautiful for the elderly, great for pets, you guys, beautiful on all pets. It's being used on dogs, on cats, on fish, on horses. There's a lot of equestrian people who are using it on their animals, on their horses. So it can be used on everything. Plants. And you can even charge up your fruits, your veggies, and your food. I do that sometimes as well. All right. What is it really, really perfect for? Well, it's perfect for any kind of inflammation. And we already talked about so much chronic illness is really about the body's systemic inflammation. We relax and reduce inflammation. So many things can feel so much better. Rhinitis, gastritis, gynecological inflammation, prostatitis has been we've gotten great, great testimonials on that. Different kinds of pain, shoulder and neck pain, joint pain, low back pain, headaches, dysmenorrhea, sciatica, all those kinds of pains. Again, you just turn it on and blow and you'll be amazed at how much better you feel. Sometimes right away, but sometimes over time as everything continues to heal. Different blockages, the meridian blockages we talked about, lymphatics, absolutely opens up the lymph system. Varicose veins, we talked about how good it is for microcirculation. Weight loss, insomnia, diabetes, high blood pressure, all these different things are blockages in your body's energy system. As these blockages unblock, everything starts to move again and you get beautiful results. Again, I do like to say, sometimes you get a, you know, like a one hit wonder and wow right away, but sometimes it can just take time. And sometimes just know that when you're unblocking blockages, there can be some additional pain because that 
energy is trying to get through the blockage. So if you do sometimes have a little bit of an exacerbation in the pain, just celebrate that. Just keep saying, wow, I feel that, but I know it's just trying to get through that blockage. Stay with it because once it's through, oh my goodness, then everything opens back up. Skin conditions, great, 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 great for skin conditions, for acne, acne scars, blemishes. I'm going to show you some of that in just a moment. Now, who is it not recommended for? Pregnant women, you know, especially here in the United States, no, with pregnant women, menstruation. I'm going to give a caveat with menstruation. It's so nice, I think, for the heat on there for cramping, but for some women, because we talked about how it does increase the blood circulation for some women they find that they do increase the bleeding so if that's you you know you want to not do it during then um for other women they say no so you might want to experiment with that a little bit but they're calling it a contraindication because of that so you just take that um and go forward with that not on acute diseases something acute comes up you go to the doctor with congenital heart issues. Again, these are medical kinds of conditions. You get seek medical care. Objects implanted, very important. We do not wand over anything implanted in the body, all right? That is a contraindication. That includes things in your teeth. Um, that includes breast implants. So that includes metal, new hips, new knees. Can you want? Absolutely. You just don't want right over that particular place. And they recommend not um, wanting directly in a big open wound or a fracture. Again, you want to go, you want to seek medical attention for that. All right, beautiful. So let's just talk about now our three different wands that we have. All three of them have the three core technologies. They're all beautiful devices and they're all just a little bit different in their uses. So we have that beautiful red classic. It is $350. It has your three settings. It has the first setting, which is, we just call it like a high blow with a lower heat setting. We have the second that is um, a little bit less powerful blow, but a little bit more heat. And then the third is a powerful blow and a higher heat. It's a beautiful, beautiful instrument. Excellent. It is um, delicate. So I do want to say that when you get it, please treat it very, very delicately because all those quartz crystals and everything are in there. If you drop it and it breaks, the quartz will come out and you have um, ruined. Now, we are knowing now that there are parts that you can get to replace it, but again, it's a delicate instrument. Now, the one that we had before the middle one was the Pro, and that's this one right here. And it is a much larger, um, much heavier device. It it's called the Pro because it was really designed for professionals. It's typically used in clinic settings when you're going to be using it with a lot of people. Um, it's heavy. It has a lot of different settings, including a cold shot setting. And it is powerful, a beautiful, beautiful device as well. And recently we came with our new premium device and it's $1,050. Great for personal or clinical use. It's actually the fifth generation of wands. So the first generation of wand, actually, guys, it was over $400,000 US dollars when they came up with it about six years ago. So every year they're constantly upgrading and, and getting it more and more efficient. The premium is the fifth generation. So it's actually very, very efficient. It doesn't have, it has like a lower voltage. So that confuses people. It just means that it's even more efficient in its use. It is a beautiful hand feel. It's more sturdy than the classic, has two settings. Now I was like, I think a lot of us were kind of like, why two settings? Why not give us the cool shot setting? And they didn't because the scientists and the doctors who've been working with it now, upgrading it, clinically doing, you know, a lot of study with it and working with it. And a lot of people, they said, look, it is designed to be used with heat. 
the heat is a huge part of the therapy. So that's why they have a low setting that's not a lower blow in a medium heat and a high blow in a high heat. It is also not quite as loud, but it is more powerful. All right, those are our three of them. Now, you've gotten them, off we go. What's the first thing we wanna do? We always tell people, as soon as you get your wand, open it up, grab your glasses of water, and let's wand the water. What does the wanded water do? Well, it takes the water from clustered, it's a clustered structure. That's what regular water does, it's clustered. So you know whenever you go up, especially first thing in the morning, we take our first big glass of water and within maybe five minutes, we run to the bathroom and we pee most of it out. Why? Because it's a fat clustered molecule. So when we drink it, it doesn't really get deep into our cells, at least not a lot. It basically just goes in and comes right back out. When you wand the water and take that terahertz and scalar energy into that water, it does what we call structure it. And it creates a linear structure, one, two, three. So now when you drink the water, it actually gets into your cells. And when that happens, we start to get hydrated. Now, most of us, and I'm gonna say 99% of the people on this planet are severely dehydrated. So we're not able to get our own bodies detox because if you can't get the water in and get it back out, how are we gonna detoxify our cells? Once you get it in there, we're hydrating everything. The fascia can start to hydrate. Everything can start to move. And that's why it is so important. And you can see all these different things that it helps just drinking the water. And people have said all they do is drink the water and they've gotten amazing results. So just getting a wand for the water can be really health beneficial. How do you do it? Well, this is my setup. So I just kind of gave it to you. You might see on, on you know, social media, wherever people will get all kind of little con things, contraptions, and they're trying to wand it up and over. I personally do not like that, mainly because, especially if you're using it on a higher setting, you're pressing down and it can bubble up and that water can get into your wand. And that is not helpful. You don't want that to happen. If you like doing it that way, that's fine. Keep it up a little bit higher, but really there's no reason. You can just set it here. I have mine up on a book. And then of course you can see, cause I just love to take nice care of it. I have a little towel there. I set it there and I wand into it because why it goes right through the glass okay do it with glass again no plastic don't do it through metal it won't go through there you do it through glass now you can take the wanded water and then put it into plastic to take it and drink it. You can put it into stainless steel. That's what I do. I have my stainless steel. I drink it all day long and it's in here, but you don't want to do it. That's not how you want first. Let's talk for a moment about the temperature. So isn't it interesting? There's so much about temperature when we're talking about frequencies. Interestingly, frequencies are much more active in heat. Fascia is much more active when it's heated. That's why you want to use as much heat as you can when you're wanting to reduce pain and inflammation. The heat is your friend. It also helps you increase and improve our immune system. So when you drink the water, you want to try and drink it at least room temperature or warm. I like to take mine, I put warm water, but I have like a whole home filter so I can get a warmer water. Even if you just use room temperature water, you might want to wand in with a little bit of heat, heat it up. Even if you don't heat it, don't cool the water when you're trying to get the frequencies. So I know, especially in the summer, a lot of us have been around where it's like super, super hot and people are like, well, can I put it in the refrigerator? Can I add ice to it? I can't stand that cold water. You can do anything you want. Will that cold water hurt you? No. But just letting you know, you're not going to get as much benefit from the terahertz when the water is chilled. So just wanna make that really clear. All right, now 
How do we begin? Well, we have what we call our 10-step protocol when somebody first starts. Do you have to use the 10-step protocol? No, you don't have to, but there's a reason for it. And the reason is that when you first get it, for some of you, if you know that you are extremely sensitive, maybe you have had a lot of um, um, viruses and maybe mold, et cetera, and you know that you are very, very sensitive, then you might just want to terahertz, you know, wand your water and just start drinking water. That might be what you want to do for a few days, allow the body to start to absorb it. Then just start with the protocol. The protocol here is designed to open up the body's lymphatic and energy field, allow the body to start to absorb those native frequencies and start to heal itself. That's what this particular protocol is designed to do. So as long as you're not super sensitive, you might want to start with this. You drink two glasses of the warm water to start. And by the way, even if you're not a big water drinker, which I never was, you are not going to believe the difference in the water. It's just super soft and silky, and it just goes right down so much easier than just drinking non-structured water. You'll be pretty amazed by it. So what do we do? We start on our palms, and you would just start just by blowing in circles on your palms. You can go front and back of the whole hand, just in circles, just keep going. You do one minute on each hand, then you go to the bottoms of the feet. You'll do one minute on each foot. You'll go behind the knees, same thing, one minute behind the knees. Why behind the knees, then the groin, then the armpit, and then the neck? All these places are lymphatic points where we have a lot of lymph nodes. We're opening up the lymphatics, allowing the body to start to absorb and to detox. The back of the upper neck. The only thing that has any contraindication is right here. You might want to do the top of the head unless you have high blood pressure. <coughs> Excuse me then don't blow on the top of the head. Why? Because that brings the energy up to the top of the head. Will it kill you? No, it will not kill you, but they recommend not to do it. Down on the tush, right on that butt, just little circles, blowing downwards on the spine. But Renee, I'm by myself. How am I going to do it? I'm going to lie down and just go down my spine. That's how I do it. I'm done. And then I drink two more glasses of water just to flush everything out. That's your immediate thing. Now, if you are somebody that's like, oh gosh, Renee, I just don't even have time to do all this. I just have frozen shoulder or I just have a really sore hip. Do I have to go through all this? No, but I do recommend at least drinking the water, going there, wanding around there, maybe five, 10 minutes to start, drink two more, see how you do for the next day. So again, you can't do it wrong. That's the starting protocol. All right, so from here, let's talk a little bit about some ways and testimonials of people who have gotten some great results with this, all right, and on some of the things that they've done. Helps in losing weight. I thought I'd start with this one because, hey, ladies, right, can you imagine, wouldn't this be great? Well, you know what? We have lots of testimonials on how people don't get it for that, but how interesting is this, that all of a sudden, look at this, the belly fat is reduced almost like it's just like almost like you took a pin and released it down. Why? Because what's it doing? It's helping the body remove toxins. It reduces excess fats and water retention. How many of us get bloating? We think, oh, I just have fat down here. How come it won't go away? Well, it's inflammation. It's excess toxicity. It can be excess fluid. And as the body starts to heal, these are some of the things that can happen. This lady, it was able to help her rheumatoid arthritis. She could not close her finger, uh, could not close her fingers. She was so locked up. And in just 15 minutes, she was able to reduce and, and um, close the fingers because the terahertz relaxes the nerves, the tissues and the muscles together with that scalar energy. And she was able to do that. So rheumatoid arthritis, again, it's an itis can really be helped. 
How about osteoporosis? Okay, this was a really fabulous testimonial, 93 year old woman, right? It's never too late to be, to get some additional help and healing. So here is this woman two months before therapy, she could not move. There was nerves impinging, causing great pain. She was unable to move even an inch. She just had to remain in bed. Can you imagine how awful that was? That was two months ago. Now she's been doing it for two months. She can't even get up now. She's doing her cycle. And how is she doing it? Well, she went twice a day for two months and now she can lift her legs. She can do karaoke. It was just a great, great testimonial. Firming skin. Oh, this is so good for so many different skin problems. And so I wanted to just share a couple of these with you. This one I would thought was especially interesting um, that she really was able to reduce dark spots 70% after just the first therapy. Now, I'm not going to guarantee that anybody's going to happen in one therapy, but you can see that it does definitely work and help. So even if you don't get a, a huge benefit the first time, keep going because it definitely reduces those spots, liver spots, any kind of dark melema. All that is beautiful. Here's another one. Look at this after 30 minutes. It's just smoothing out. Why? Because it's reducing the inflammation. Same thing with this woman. You can just see that it's really reducing it. And here, she was very puffy right here and it just smoothed it all out. Beautiful for skin. Psoriasis. So we don't have the day one as it's starting. This is after seven days. And it wouldn't surprise me if this actually looked worse after seven days, because sometimes, as I mentioned, even with coming through and opening up blockages, it can cause more pain until it pushes through. Sometimes when you start to do it, you might find that you get an exacerbation. So here he was after seven days, kept going, so you can see now it's not as red, but now it's more scaly. That's how the healing on this person started to happen more scaly. And you know, that had to have been scary. He's probably like, oh my gosh, this is getting worse. It's getting worse. I don't know. Keep going. Because when you give the body healing frequencies, it can't help but heal itself. And here it is after 22 days, years of pain of psoriasis. Bell's poly, the neuro, it's an, um, a neurological condition. After just a week, this person is back. Imagine how happy he was. Varicose veins, we're talking a lot about that microcirculation. This one was after just one treatment, which is pretty powerful. We've seen quite a few really good varicose vein testimonials with pictures. If it doesn't happen on the first treatment, don't worry, you just keep going. Everybody's varicose veins in the microcirculation is very unique to each of us. So just keep going. Thyroid nodules. Look at this. She had a huge in, in, um, thyroid nodule, nodule on that thyroid. You can see how big it is after 10 times, how much better it is. So we were talking about the um, endocrine glands. All right. So just to kind of put a bow on this whole thing, let's just put a little bow on six years of research and development. Again, that premium is in our fifth generation. They keep getting better and better. All of them have the unique three in one. Product design is patented. We have all the safety appointments. You know you're getting the right one when it has price and you are ordering it for any of us who only distribute the original price um, wands, quality inspections, accuracy, radiation, and clinical tests. So thanks, you guys, so much for hanging in there with that presentation. And now after that, I'd love to open it up to any questions or and or any testimonials that you might have. We'd love to hear it. It's so helpful for us to hear how other people are responding um, to the Itera Care One. So who would like to go first? Anybody? You can just go down, unmute yourself, and come out and share. 
Okay, nobody's going to share. Well, I'll tell you what then. I'm going to share my testimonial. So I've been using the wand since the beginning of June. And I really wasn't sick. I didn't have any major big thing. I actually got it because my friend Cheryl shared it with me. And she had a great testimonial where she was unable to lift an arm. It was really challenging. She was doing all kinds of things. It wasn't working. And she got it because she saw some testimonials herself and was really able after about a week to move the arm and get some benefits. So I thought, well, heck, $350. I'll try it because I'm really into different frequencies. Um, equipment and machines I have been for a long time made sense to me. So what have I noticed? All right. Well, I have noticed number one, I was, my hair was falling out. Ladies, especially as we get older, right? What happens? The hair starts to come out like in handfuls every time I would wash it. I'm like, oh my goodness, am I going to end up going bald completely? So really within about two weeks, I was like, you know, something like I'm not getting huge handfuls of hair anymore. And over the next two months, that has really improved even more and more. And I do use it to dry my hair. So I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, don't use regular hair dryers. Did you realize how much EMF and radiation Wait. comes off of a regular hair dryer? I had no idea. I had no idea, but I found out and now I use that and the hair is just super good. All right. So that skin, I have extremely, well, I have eczema, tendency to eczema, very, very dry skin. And then again, as we get older, we dry out, don't we? My skin is so moist. It's unbelievable. And I hear that from so many of us ladies. Why? Because we're hydrating. We're drinking that water. We're hydrating. So I'm also a trainer and, you know, listen, especially I'm 64, we start working out, we're using some weights. I'm always getting a little crink here and there. And I had something going on in my one hip. Uh, it would get better. It would get worse. It would move up to here. So now as soon as it starts to move, I grab my wand. Yeah. And I start to just work it and work that fascia and open it up. And it's just amazing how all that just settles right down. So I've gotten some great results. My nails are stronger. I never had strong nails. That's been so much better. Oh, yes. Let's talk about belly and gut. My goodness, everything is all about the gut, isn't it? We say the health begins and starts in the gut. So I just wand my gut. That's just part of what I do all the time. I'll just wand, 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 and elimination, wow, has been so much better. Just hugely different. Sleep. I, you know, have got decent sleep, but man, you know what happens. Like it's, you know, you fall asleep, you're up, you're a close, you're up, you're down, you're up, you're down. I am God, I'm getting just the deepest sleep. And that happened pretty quickly. I was pretty surprised about that. So really great sleep. I don't get up and down in the middle of the night at all. And yet during the day, great energy. So I'm really excited about it. Um, and those are just things that I noticed. Again, I didn't get it for that, but I'm noticing. Oh, Shauna, I'm so glad you got it. Yay. I'm just going to kind of put this up over here to kind of see. She just got hers, had surgery. Um, Wednesday, Stu. Well, you know what I would do, Shauna? I would start. I don't know what kind of surgery. And you and I can always have a conversation about it because I don't want to just answer willy nilly about what's going on with that. But you can certainly drink the water. Wand and drink the water. The water is always so good for everything. OK, so that's a beautiful thing. Who else would like to come out and maybe share, um, either ask a question or share? Becky, have you had some good results? Yeah, girl, I'm calling you out. <laughs> She's like, oh, no. <laughs> Trying to find the unmute button. There we go. Hi. <laughs> I have. We have had so many. Um, but I had one that I had shared in our testimonial group, but it was it was very significant. And so I just wanted to share that. So I've been a massage therapist for 23 years, um, spent 23 years looking down all the time. So I have stenosis in my neck and it uh, it's very stiff. So I've been for the last few years, like when I turn, I actually have to turn my whole body. Um, 
and it's affected me with driving. I have a hard time turning to see if someone's next to me when I go to get my hair done or to the dentist, it's uncomfortable in the chair. And I have not been able to lay back to get my hair washed at the hairdresser for a couple of years now comfortably because my neck, there's probably about that much gap um, in that little crook that they have that you rest your head back in. So I'm just kind of hovering in the air while she washes my hair for me. And the last time I went, I had been using the wand about five weeks sporadically, really not spending a lot of time on myself at that point, but definitely drinking the wanded water every day. And I'm telling my hairdresser about the, the wand and we're deep into this story and it's time to rinse my hair and we go over to the sink and I lean back and I knew it felt different, but I was in the middle of the story that I was really focused on and she's washing my hair and she says, so have you been using this wand on your neck? And I said, a little bit. She said, do you realize your neck is touching the sink? And I, I just had to like stop for a minute and I was like, oh my God, like, I'm still so shocked. <laughs> and also I'm able to turn more side to side, which I really couldn't do. So that was huge. Um, but we've had a, a number of amazing things happening and I agree with you on the sleep. The sleep I noticed very quickly very deep, deep sleep, um, skin soft, feels very hydrated. Um, I had to have a thumb joint replacement two years ago and it did not heal well. And I was in therapy for months. So I, I can't use it. Um, I have an implant in here. So mm. I've only been blowing up in here, but that's the straightest and it's not very straight, but that's the straightest that my thumb has been. Even after months of therapy, it was not this straight. So I'm little by little, I'm trying to get it loosened up there. Beautiful. As a massage therapist, I, I kind of need that. So. I was going to say. And Becky, wouldn't you say, thank you. Thank you, thank yeah, you for you're sharing. Welcome. And wouldn't you say, especially like as a massage therapist, wouldn't you agree that most people are so dehydrated and yeah. it really makes a difference, right? Because the fascia gets adhered, lower back issues sometimes can just be just simple dehydration. Yes. I can always tell by the amount of either oil or, low, or cream that I have to use on them. And some people I keep reapplying and reapplying and it's like, it's just sucking it all in and I have to keep reapplying so yeah I can usually tell um dehydration right away <laughs> yes oh beautiful thank you so much for sharing that you're very that welcome huge that's huge and yeah. you know uh, so much of that story there's so many there's so many great little tidbits about it like number one right you're a massage therapist you're taking care of everybody else right so you did a little on yourself right? That self-healing and the, and, but even just a little bit, and then we're not even, sometimes it can just be subtle. Like I know for myself, there were su there's subtle things that happen, right? That like trying to stay aware and then all of a sudden going like, whoa, pain is such an interesting thing, right? I like to say, um, even in, in childbirth, okay? <laughs> like I was way back when I had my daughter, I had no anesthesia, not through choice, just through circumstance. Oh, and when I was like screaming, give me something. And they're like, too late. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought to myself, oh my goodness, like this is some incredible pain here. But after you have the baby and everything, you forget, right? The brain forgets the pain. It's really interesting. When we have pain, it's all we can think about. When we don't have pain anymore, it's almost like we forget what it's like. And I think that's part of what happens, right? All of a sudden we're not in pain and we forget, oh yeah, I can turn my head. So paying exactly. attention to, to the positives. Yeah, that's so beautiful. Thanks. Thanks so much. You're welcome. For that. Thank you. Yeah. Anybody else that might want to share? Dan, you want to share? Sure. Um, how much time do we have? Five minutes, no okay. more. <laughs> well, the, the yeah, my, my story is rather not unique. It's, it's that it's a, a subtle kind of awareness that I started out with. I, uh, I began slowly. My wife and I have both been using this. 
And for me, within the first week, I felt the freedom of movement. My joints were not as restrictive. Mm -hmm. Not that they were restrictive before, not some of them anyway, but uh, yet, you know, overall, this this ability to to freely move without exertion, um, and for the areas of concern as as far as joint uh, limitations, I don't. Know, maybe you remember this, Renee, but in T tap, when it went to T tap form, I was always using a handkerchief, a towel, or something to keep my hands behind my back. Mm -hmm. Because my right shoulder was so limited uh, that I couldn't put the palm of my hand on my back pocket. Mm -hmm. But after a few weeks of this, and I've been using it now for uh, two months or a little better, mm -hmm. I can clasp my hands behind my back. Wow. And I can't even imagine having done that before because it was almost an impossibility and I also had a an issue with my hip I, I had a my back I had a uh, spinal stenosis level um, with a disc between L4 L5 a pinching of the nerve and I did not forget that pain and I still remember that pain <laughs> and, but so I, I've been very careful over the years to, I've been too careful. I've been too careful because I, I that pain was just too much. Mm. Um, but it left me with um, hip flexor tightness. Mm -hmm. And it kind of took my posture from an upright position into a more tilted forward position. Mm -hmm. So. Now that I've been using this, now that I'm getting comfortable, now that I'm gaining confidence, now that I'm feeling better, now that my pain is starting to relieve itself, I'm starting to go after this problematic problem with this hip flexor. And um, it's given me the courage to take on the proper therapy as an exercise therapist uh certification i know the moves that i'm supposed to be doing and now i can do them with confidence that it's going to make me better oh fantastic so that's going to lead me into just letting you guys know i'm really excited i had an inspiration today an inspiration you guys i was like what should we do on thursday night i know that dr kim couldn't make it with us She'll be there next week. We have some really fun things for that Thursday. And so I was doing my working out for my class because those of you that, that don't know, I'm a trainer and I love working with fascia. I love doing what we call fascia fitness. So you guys, I can't wait this Thursday. Log on if you want. I'll send everybody out the information. I'm going to do a wonderful workout. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am with the wand and some activated fascia work to help us release. So I'm really excited about it. I was like, you know, as I was wanding today, I'm like, and I'm creative and show me the way. <laughs> I was doing all my affirmations as my scalar energy was wanding my water. And sure enough, it hit me and I'm super excited. So I'll be playing with that next couple of days. So tune in on Thursday night at 730. Get your wand and sit in a chair and we're going to do a bit of wanding workout. So that'll be fun. Becky, you might enjoy that too. You can make it live or, or on the recording. So um, that'll be fun. All right, you guys, anything else? Anybody else that has something they'd like to share or a question? Give you another couple seconds to ask. No? All righty then. Well, listen, thank you all so much for coming on, for learning about this incredible, incredible devices. And, you know, Prife International has a mission. <laughs> it's kind of a small mission. And the small mission is that every household in the world has at least one wand. <laughs> so it's up to us 
to use the wand to share it and to really um, just pay that love forward. And if nothing else, go wand your water and wand your body. All right, you guys, go have a fabulous evening. I'm going to turn the recording off now.